Scotty Squirrel is based on a character by Melanie Watts. This is gonna be perfect. See, Dave? That's how you turn a sandwich. Awesome. What are you doing with your crusts? Want me to hide them under the couch? That's where I put mine. <laughs> Dave, the crust is the most nutritious part. I'm feeding them to Richard. The annual Soil Masters Plantorama show is this weekend. Already? Another year. Gone. And this is the year that Richard's gonna win. Wasn't last year the year Richard was going to win? Or was it the year before? The competition has been fierce the last few years. He's lost to bigger plants. So for the last month, he's eaten nothing but crusts and this yumalicious plant grow food. This is the year! Yeah, this year for sure. Probably not, but for sure. Richard, it's measuring time. Show me what you got. What? That's two days with no growth. How could this happen? The plant food comes with a guarantee. If yumalicious doesn't make your plant grow, we'll apologize. There's a number. We're sorry. Okay, good. They kept their promise. Yep. And there's always next year. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, Richard. It looks like... No! This is the year. It's time to get some help from my good friend, science. I'm going to invent the greatest plant growth potion ever made. And I'll try to help, but mostly just get in your way. Ginger root, baby carrots, organic kelp, and rain from the jungles of Brazil. This plant potion's gonna be awesome! Ooh, I brought some plant growing ingredients too. Okay, uh, what'd you bring? Root beer. It has the word root in it. What else? Some really good stuff. Three eggs, ah, uh, two eggs, half a can of soup. Hmm, this might be a muffin or dirt. Ah, it's a dirty muffin. Let's do this! Uh, sorry, Dave, but your lunchbox is no friend to science. Science seems pretty judgmental. Ah! Oops. Oh, no! I could never use this crazy potion on Richard. Dave! Done! <sighs> he looks okay, right? Right? I'd better call the plant poison control hotline. Hi, Margaret. It's me, Scaredy. Well, she said to keep an eye on him over the next... Ah! The potion works! Yay, lunchbox! My plant is a behemoth! Temperature's normal. His pH level is fine. Greener than ever! Wow! This is our year, Richard! Our year! All right! You know, I do have more potion. But Richard's already so big. Time for lunch, Richard! That's going to be the bohemithiest, bohemothiest plant, bo bohemithiest. A really big plant. Where were you? Uh, nowhere. Don't worry about it. 
Dan Duck Balsa News. As a plant grows, so does a crowd. And this plant is the biggest one I've ever seen. I know. He's going to win this year's Soil Masters Plantarama Show. His name is Richard. And I'm Dave. What have you been feeding him? A potion that I created myself. From my lunchbox. Well, good oh. luck to you and Reggie at the Soilorama contest. It's Richard and... Good luck to you, Richard. No, my name is Scary. And cut. Get this badger away from me. You've been feeding him. A potion that I created myself. That is the kind of plant DNA that the Yamalicious Plant Grow Food Company has been looking for. Hmm, it's too big to steal. Ah, but there is a way to get him to give us the plant. Wow! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What did I tell you about roaring during my evil laugh? That's right. Not to do it. So don't! <laughs> and one last bit of potion for a boost before the show. Hello. I saw you on the news. I'm a scientist with a... a real scientist? Can I have your autograph? Uh, sure. Too scaredy. No, my friend scaredy. No, a uh, friend to science scaredy. Yeah, friend to science scaredy. Yes. <laughs> So, my colleagues and I work for the Yamalicious Plant Grow Food Company. Have you heard of us? Yes, thank you for the apology. The what? Okay. I'm here because I care about your plant. He's in danger and needs to get to our lab right away for some tests. But Richard's fine. He's never been greener. His temperature and soil pH levels are totally... Yes, but there are many serious illnesses that don't show up until... It's too late. Have you even tested for Pisium, Botrytis, Stegosaurus? No, I haven't. But isn't that last one a dinosaur? Your irresponsible actions have put your plant in danger. What have I done? <laughs> your scientist! Help him! Help him! I'm sure he'll be fine. Yes. Fine! <laughs> 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 Sorry, uh, something was caught in my throat. <laughs> uh. We do the most advanced plant research in the world right here. This is a muscle room. See? That's with the plant universe. <clears throat> and this plant has been spliced with rainbow DNA. It's all very impressive. Yes. These plants are upside down. That's not as impressive. Fair enough. This is the room where Richard will get his tests done by super scientists. What's happening? Oh! <laughs> Nothing. Break time! It's a union thing. That sounds nice! Employees only! So I need you to wait here. Okay. No moving from that spot. Got it. Don't open that door! I won't. Whatever you do, do not go in that room! Staying out of that room! This is me not going in that room. <gasps> ah! Ah! Ah, screw! That room is off limits! It should be! I saw everything! You're sucking the life out of those plants. Richard and I are leaving. I think that's unwise. Yeah? Well, you're unwise. Let's go! Wait! Stop that plant! <laughs> Hang on, Richard! <laughs> I guess you can't trust people just because they wear lab coats. Who knew? Now let's get to the plant show and win that gold. <laughs> Give up the plant or else. Or else what? You'll get the root gun. I don't chew gum. It's not good for you. Gun! I don't want any gum. Oh, gun. Got it. Ha, 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 ha!
injured. What happened? The potion must be wearing off. Squirrel, freeze! This is the last drop. Sorry about this, buddy. Give us the plant, Squirrel! I give up, but just let me say goodbye to him first. Make it fast. Well, Richard, I don't know what to say. I mean, we've had so many good times. You know, I can think back to so many of them, like when we went to the park that one time and it was sunny. And Time's was... up. Just one more second. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. Richard, there's still time to get to the show. Come on. What happened to Big Richard? The Big Richard was way better. This one will never win. Dave! Never! Dave! I thought you wanted gold. Trying to enjoy the moment, Dave. Trying to enjoy the moment. It's Dave the Skunk's cooking show. Dave is a skunk, and he's cooking stuff he shouldn't eat. Ta-da! All right! <laughs> Bad idea. Ah, another year, another mountaintop painting expedition. Steady, I really gotta pay. Dave, why'd you drink all that warm milk? What? I need my energy. <sighs> Make it quick this time. We gotta get to the top and start painting. Okay, Dave, time to get a move on. Did you really wash your hands or did you just run the water? Uh... <sighs> how come the vending machine only sells hand sanitizer? Ew, Dave. Take that and that! Hey! <laughs> Behold, the voice of flame. Wow, intense. Huh? What? But I checked the weather six times before we left. There was no sign of... Snow? 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 It's never snowed this early in the season. Never! This was not part of the plan. Pass me the safety kit. I need the emergency walkie-talkie. Sir, yes, sir. It's connected to the St. Bernard Rescue Station. Got it. Oh, cheese curds. No! Why aren't you calling for help? And why are your eyebrows so pointy and angry looking? We're gonna freeze to death. Come on, the path down is this way. <laughs> How do we get down now? Well, we'll just have to try the other side of the mountain. Beware the corgan. Oh, creepy. Is there anything in that bag that can help us right now? It's called the Magical Sack of Mystery, if you care. Hey! These'll help! Scary, there's no time for blowing bubbles. Didn't you promise to stop doing that? Uh... He'll be fine. When the bubble pops, he'll... We should call someone. Good times, good times. Not for him, but good times. Okay, I'll set. Come on, we gotta move! Do you think we'll run into the Corgan? I'm letting the cold numb my fear. Ah! or we'll cause an avalanche. Huh? You're speaking too quietly. Falling snow. Can you hear me? Because I can't hear you. Oh, I get it. Hey, look what I can do. The emergency exit.
lights, it's are never clearly marked. Greetings! <gasps> the Mool McCamish, just another harmless bear with no teeth living in a cave. Ah! <laughs> uh, hi, we were just uh, leaving. We are? But it's so warm and smelly in here. <gasps> the Corgan! Aye, the Corgan. You know about the Corgan? Aye, he arrives the first snowfall, then hunts the hills till spring. Hunts what? I was just making some dinner, lads. Sit by the fire and I'll tell you the legend of the Corgan. Wow, that was creepier than it needed to be. But I guess I could sit for a bit. I'm pretty sore from all that rolling. Oh, sore are you? Rub this berry and spice lotion on your egg and bodies. Oh, boy! Stuffing! I love stuffing! Hey, that's it. Yeah. Fatten up. I mean, uh, oh, I mean, uh, eat up. So, um, back to the Corgan. The Corgan! He has the head of a dog, the arms of an ape, and the feet of a prehistoric bird! Ah! And he kinda has bad breath, you know. His birthday falls on the first snowfall. And every year he turns his victims into pretzels and dips them in Dijon mustard. The Corgan can't get in here, can he? No, oh, you'll be safe here. Now finish rubbing yourself in marinade, eat your stuffing, and let's get some sleep, huh? I should be suspicious, but stuffing making me... <laughs> yep, pretty much what I thought would happen. Mmm, ah! smells like roast skunk. Uh, Dave? Right, got it. All right, it'll be okay. McCamish has no teeth. He can't eat us. Correction! <gasps> McCamish has his choice of teeth. Buck teeth, hillbilly teeth, vampire teeth. Pretty popular these days. Ooh. Ah, bear teeth! <laughs> and where do you think you're running, laddie? Oh, right. <laughs> Come on, magical sack. Show me the magic. Dave, that won't help. You're right. Huh, it worked. Let's get out of here. Hey, look what I got. Who's a scary hand? I'm a scary hand. Who's a scary hand? Good thinking. That'll make McCamish way safer. Right, safer. Glad we made it out of there. What about the Corgan? The Corgan doesn't exist. McCamish made it up to keep us in his cave. Whoa! Just a senile old bear with a lot of time on his hands, Dave. Dave? How'd you do that? Something just happened. What? I don't know. Something. This is no time for games. We gotta get off this mountain before it snows again. Scary, look! Wow, that bear won't give up. We're not falling for it, McCamish! And we've got your teeth! Scary, I've got to pee. Didn't you go back in the cave? Yeah, but that was because I was scared. Now I've really got to go. Make it quick, would you? Hey, you smell mustard. Dave, shh! The Corgan! The Corgan doesn't exist. Ah, uh, Scary? Oh, no! Dave! Scary! Don't worry, buddy! I'm coming! Hey! This is awesome! Dave French! So close! <laughs> hungry! So hungry! You're the Corgan! <laughs> oh, actually, my name is L L Laird. 
the Corgan is just my stage name. So you're not gonna twist us into pretzels and eat us, right? <laughs> eat you? Oh, yeah, right. I almost forgot about that. Why does everyone want to eat us today? Because the recipe in this week's Mountain Digest is squirrel stuffed skunk. <gasps> Look, we have all the ingredients. We are the ingredients. <laughs> Wait, you can't eat us. We haven't uh, celebrated your birthday yet. Made you a cake out of snow. Still counts, right? Huh? No, oh, this is the best day ever. I haven't had a birthday party in years. Well, we wouldn't miss it for the world. More cake? Nah, I'm pretty stuffed. Too bad we left our paintings up there. They would have been the perfect birthday present. You mean these? I love them. It's part of a series called Balsa from Above. No, not that. Masterpiece. I know, right? How are we gonna find our way back home? No prob. Got you covered. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Did you brush those before you put them in your mouth? Richard started it. Ah! I want my teeth back! Uh, by any chance, is it your birthday? Ah! It's Scary Squirrel Safety Corner. Scary's in a corner and he's safe. In this episode, a lot of people were trying to eat us. Which is not what friends do. I'm still pretty hungry. Maybe I'll just have a salad. Wait, no, I meant a spinach salad with a squirrel vinaigrette. <laughs> I meant lemon vinaigrette. Oh, not friendly. <laughs> that was, that was not my fault. 